So hey you guys, here we have Zuckus from the Black Series. Um, this is an exclusive, as you can see, to the Disney stores. Um, yeah, quite a nice artwork on the front there. Some of these got a little bit bashed on the way home. Um, obviously $24.95 uh, in the Disney store. Magic Kingdom, the Disney parks, didn't have any of these. They had some of the older Black Series figures in there, but you will see as we go along, I do have some Black Series that I bought in there, which was some of the older ones and some of the better ones. Um, it became kind of a joke with me that every time I went in there was uh, a store in Magic Kingdom that had some, there was a store in Hollywood Studios that had some, and every time I went in I had to go and check in either of those two stores just to see what they had. And mostly they had the same ones every time, but now and again they would throw in something different. Anyway, that's a different story, we'll get to that. So this is Zuckus that I got in the Disney store. Um, I picked this up and the, there's a Stormtrooper with Blaster Max on him and there's going to be a R2-D2 uh, metal one that I also picked up then. Anyway, this is Zuckus. So, a Gand bounty hunter, Zuckus, heeded the Empire's call for mercenaries to locate the Millennium Falcon and bring her fugitive crew to justice, receiving his orders to the on the bridge of Darth Vader's Super Star Destroyer. A bit and in different languages, like I say, $24.95 in the Disney store. If you buy, it's kind of weird because they're one price in the Disney store, but then the hot, the Black Series in the actual parks were 25 I think. So, yeah, they're a little bit more. So, there we go, pop that, pop that. So, now all I need to do to find is the four LOM, and I have only available ones. I tried and tried and tried while I was over there to find a fall on. Could not find one for the life of me. I think we're all out. So, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of thing on his wrist. Just one of them. There we go. I think you love that sound. Oh, and his blaster. So, he has um, cloth materials. It is just material, but it does. It's, oh, I was going to give him one. Little legs underneath there. He is a short character. I guess those legs will have been used from somebody else. Um, what do they call a woman from um, uh, oh, the first of the new films? It's gone out of my head. They're probably her legs because she's quite short. I should remember who she is because they had her all over everywhere. Every time I went to Disney, that was the main figure that they had lots of. So his little tubes go around there towards the back, attached to the front. Head-wise, not left and right articulation, not a lot of backwards and forwards because obviously he's got a weird shaped head and the tentacly thing that comes around there to that kind of sticks. Um, Arm-wise, usual articulation and usual articulation on the legs. So yeah, like I said, material goods on there. Does he stand? Oh yes he does, and quite nicely as well. Blaster, I'll shift him because then you get more focus. Quite nice, little bit of colour on there. Nice weapon, very solid. Um, let's look at his face. There is a little bit of overpaint there, but I'm sure with a little bit of work. Ah, there we go. No, maybe not. I'll get that off eventually. It's another paint from where the eyes were done and the faceplate. Some nice texturing on the skin there, I have to say. I guess that must be a wash of something. And his rubber plasticky clothing thing here has also got some quite nice texturing to it. Very nice. Um, let me hold the gun. Let's see. Ah. Yep, that's in there. And then, I guess we put that, hold that bit. Hold that bit. I'd rather go through there. There. Oh, excellent. There we go. And he stands quite nicely as well. 
So the only problem is I wish they'd make the material that's underneath there a darker colour rather than making it white because then the white does kind of stand out a bit but other than that quite a nice little figure uh, let's just say um, next to okay that gives you an idea of his height next to Han Solo he is quite a short little chap um, yeah so now so far in the Bounty Hunters I have Zuckus, Dengar and oh that's it look yes so I need I know they're reissuing Bosch Boba Fett they're coming out again and IG 88 so I've tried to pick those up when they come out and then obviously um, I'm still gonna have to look for a Zuckus because who doesn't want a full set of bounty hunters stood on the shelf it's kind of strange they're only in the film for like probably less than a minute but they have become such popular characters I mean I think there's so many different versions of this there's so many different uh, thousands of versions of Boba Fett so yeah yeah so there we go like I say nice texturing on there hands and stuff under there and you've got three fingers nice paint apps there it's just a shame there's a little bit of over paint on that bit but I'll, I'll sort that out that looks very much like what's on the back of the um, Tefat pilot which it probably was because it did reuse bits of prop like I say that his tubes go up the back of him there so this isn't quite sturdily attached yeah quite a nice little character really I say it would be interesting to see what's underneath there but I can't really be bothered to strip it off I'm sure those legs belong to somebody else and I'm sure one of you out there you know who you are will tell me whose legs they are so there we go yeah there's the little review of that guy I hope you enjoyed this if you did what you could do for me which would be all too easy would be like share and most importantly of all do the old subscription thing yeah so I hope you all have a great day I hope you all have a great night and I'll see you on the next video Bye now.